Okay, um, good evening everyone. It's 7 o'clock and we have a public hearing scheduled on the 2019 uh, preliminary budget. Uh, so would you read the public hearing notice? Please take notice that the Town Board of the Town of Wilton, New York, County of Saratoga will hold a public hearing on the preliminary budget for the Town of Wilton for the fiscal year beginning January 1, 2019. Said public hearing will be held on Thursday, November 1st, 2018 at 7 p.m. at Wilton Town Hall located at 22 Traver Road in said town, at which time all persons will be given an opportunity to be heard. Said preliminary budget will be completed and filed in the office of the town clerk of the town of Wilton at 22 Traver Road, where it may be examined by any interested person during regular business hours. The preliminary budget is also available online at townofwilton.com. Okay. Um, so I will officially open the public hearing. Um, there was a sign-up sheet down there to sign up for the hearing. Um, Julie, you said nobody has signed up on that? Um, is there anybody that wants to speak on the public hearing that has not signed up? Okay, I'll close the public hearing. That was too easy. <laughs> well, when you have no taxes and everything's good, no. <laughs> You're not running yet. Um, okay, I will now call to order the regular uh, monthly town board meeting. And we will begin with the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Uh, roll call. Supervisor Johnson. Here. Councilman Stryker. Here. Councilman Gardas. Here. Deputy Supervisor Here. Here. Councilman McEachran. Here. Okay, we always begin the meetings with the public comment session. We have uh, one uh, person that has uh, signed up, Eric Rosenberg. Well, nothing is not consistent. I'll just remind you, we have three minutes. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Eric Rosenberg, 16 Crawl Lane. Um, I've been coming to town meetings uh, very coming for the better part of a year now. Uh, I've asked a lot of questions and expressed a lot of concerns. I had hoped that an ongoing dialogue would ensue and that we could all work for the betterment of our town. However, with few exceptions, my questions have gone unanswered and my concerns have been ignored. I get letters from Mark Schachter, the town attorney, explaining to me why town officials have no ethical or legal obligations to talk to any residents about anything. I don't know what political system Mr. Schachter is describing, however, I don't think it's democracy. People have told me it's not what I'm saying, it's my approach and how I'm saying it. I am nothing if not self-aware. I, I will admit that I'm not always the most user-friendly person. However, I think my comments are legitimate and honest. Um, but I'd like to talk about then the approach of the town board to the residents of Wilton. Um, why is it okay not to answer questions and address concerns? For example, Joanne Klepitar at a recent meeting asked about the proposed town hall and courthouse, uh, I'm sorry, courthouse and senior center. I know there are some plans, at least preliminary plans floating around there. Why not let people know what's going on? What's the big secret? Um, and I have other questions that have gone unanswered. Why is it okay for planning board members and zoning board members to make decisions without knowing what it says in the code? I've seen it happen over and over. Um, why is it okay to issue special permits without any documentation in the file? Mr. Schachner's own ethics seminar says there's got to be a document, uh, a, a, a administrative record. There's no administrative record. Why are we so unwilling to put Mark Mikens to work? It's his responsibility. He himself has admitted he doesn't do inspections in connection with the issue, reissuance of special permits. What does this guy do all day? There's nothing in the files to indicate he's doing anything. Why have we allowed some obvious code violations to continue? And some of them are really dangerous. I recently wrote a letter 
asking you all, and Art has responded. I don't know why you want to talk to Mark Michaels about it. He blew it. He fabricated a hobby exception, allowing this guy to run an auto repair shop on his property. I don't care if he's making money from it or not. There's 15 or 20 vehicles. There's, there's piles of tires all over the property. There's auto parts. That's a dangerous situation. We have code provisions that talk about condemning buildings that provide an attractive nuisance for kids. The barn doors are left open. The, the garage doors are left open. It's been showing pictures that are in the file for years now. This, I mean, is it gonna take an accident before somebody holds Mark Mikens accountable for something? It's time to be a little more responsive to the residents of Wilton. Thank you. Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, Can I say something real quick, Mark? Yes, Mark. I just want to assure members of the public, if they've paid attention to Mr. Rosenberg's comments, I want to assure any concerned members of the public that Mr. Rosenberg has grossly, grossly misstated anything that I've ever said, written, or any opinion I've ever held. And I, will I just want to assure that to members of the public. Yes, Thanks. I will sir. disagree, and the copies of the letter are available to show right. you if you want. Public comments over. <laughs> Okay, we have the minutes uh, pending from our October meeting. Uh, they've been distributed and everyone had a chance to review them. Is there any uh, requests for changes or amendments to the minutes? Uh, minutes? Okay, hearing none, I would entertain a motion to approve the minutes. I'll make a motion that we approve the minutes. I'll second it. I have a motion and a second. All in favor? Uh, say aye. aye. Any opposed? So moved. Uh, next on the agenda, we have a Wilton resident uh, that um, is having a 100th birthday on November 14th. <laughs> and uh, we have a birthday card that we are going to send to her. Her name is Evelyn Dugan. She lives at 33 uh, Hopeful Lane, Wilton, New York. And we just thought it would be a good idea for to us to uh, wish her a happy birthday from the formerly from the town board. So. Everybody assigned it, and we will deliver it to her. Uh, the preliminary budget, 2019 preliminary budget, um, it was introduced last month. We had the public hearing as required uh, earlier this uh, evening. Um, I think it's a very, very good budget for the town. Again, no taxes, We're providing a lot of the services, some new projects or new uh, services being offered. And uh, again, I, I appreciate the work of uh, prior controller, uh, <laughs> Jeff Real, and if, in fact, I don't. Know, I want to. It should introduce Maria Moran. Uh, I, she, she was introduced last month, but some of you may not have been here. She is our new town controller, and we look forward to working with her. Thank you so much. I look forward to working with you all too. Thank you. So, if there's no other. If there's no request for changes or amendments to the budget, I would entertain a motion to approve the 2019 uh, preliminary budget make a motion we approve adopt the 2019 preliminary budget a second I'll second that a motion a second any further discussion comments on the budget okay. uh, hearing none Can I just ask a procedure question does that mean the budget is now longer no longer from the preliminary is the budget it will be the budget after this, this vote okay <laughs> So we have a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? So moved. Thank you. I think it's uh, thank all that we town board for their input and uh, oh. workshops and all the work that was put into it. Um, I think it's really good for the town residents. Great job. Uh, see health insurance <coughs> benefits. So this is something that's required every year because of the December enrollment? Correct. Can you just get involved in that? Can you just go over that? Um, the board is approving uh, to provide health insurance benefits for the employees. We have a choice between CDP, HP, and MPP. Uh, that is item seven. And number eight is the health reimbursement arrangement because we do have a high deductible. The town will fund the um, the HRA card at 50% of the deductible for the plan. 
Okay, so this needs to be done because of the early enrollment? Correct. Or the, December the, enrollment? The December 1st is the, uh, the new year for the insurance. It runs December 1st. Any Here questions on that or comments? Okay. Um, you had a meeting with explaining everything on there and why, um, the why we chose Sterling was in. why yeah. we chose the plan and yeah, Marshall Sterling, he's a, they're our consultant. They met with um, all the town employees to, to go over what the benefits are, what's involved, mm -hmm. all, all that information. Um, uh, and I think they, did they have one meeting or one for highway and one for general? I so what I'm reading is a family plan would cost 370 a month for CDHP and 331 a month with MVP. Yeah, the employees have an option. So, right. um, they're, they're, they're comparable. Um, um, I guess it depends on who, what, which providers you uh, use. Not a lot of them are the same. Not, it says it includes a dental contribution. Right. Because mm -hmm. I priced it for myself, and it was twelve fifty a month with a $3,000 deductible. <laughs> So. You, should, you should join the town. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. so. Any other questions? No. Okay. So what would be the so motion to approve? To, uh, the, each one uh, separately? Yes, please. I'll put forth the motion that we uh, put forth the motion to approve the health insurance benefits that, for the town of Wilton for 2019. I'll second it. Motion is in the second. Any further discussion or questions? All in favor? Uh, Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Aye. So moved. And, uh, I'll put forth the motion to uh, have the town of Wilton reimburse uh, up to 50%. Is that what it is? Is that a separate the, motion? Yes. For uh, health reimbursement arrangement. Is there a second? I'll second it. Okay. Motion is second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? So moved. Is that all for now? Okay, next. Um, unfortunately, uh, Larry Gordon was our town of Wilton emergency coordinator. Um, obviously, we, we recognize he's, he passed away a, f a few uh, weeks ago or maybe a month ago now. So we have someone that has stepped up, a Wilton resident with a lot of qualifications. His name, ironically, is Stephen Gordon. No relationship to um, Larry. Uh, Larry Gordon. <laughs> Um, but he, uh, he, he's the currently he's a desk sergeant at the for the and he's director of the 911 communications center. Fully trained in all aspects of, of emergency services. I know John knows him. I've known uh, Steve for many years. When we started the sheriff's department. I know he's a man of high integrity and honesty. He's well qualified. I know Sheriff Zero thinks the wor world world of him. And if we had a disaster in this town, I know he'd make sure, help us to make sure our residents were safe. And even though he knows he's got a big pair of shoes to fill, that last name's gonna help you, and I'm positive <laughs> you can do it. And I'd be honored to make the, uh, to appoint you as our emergency uh, director. I know I've had, a, on occasions, have had the opportunity to work with Mr. Gordon through the county hazmat team on standbys with the hazmat team and stuff and various communication stuff. And he's educated us on a lot of emergency procedures in the county. And I think Mr. Gordon is going to bring a vast knowledge and experience to this position for the town of Wilton. Second. That is a second. Okay, we have a motion and a second to appoint uh, Stephen Gordon as the Wilton Emergency Coordinator, Emergency Services Coordinator. I'm going to say all in favor. Aye. 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 Any yeah, thank you. So moved. Thank you for applying. We appreciate it. Don't let it go. Uh, committee reports. Um, the only one I, I we have a vacancy on the. Um, we have two vacancies on the zoning board of appeals as an alternate. Um, we've had an applicant that we've we've, we've talked to, and yeah, his name is David Gerard. And uh, would someone like to make a motion to appoint 
David to the alternate uh, position for a period of uh, calendar to starting January 1st. I'll make that motion that we have 2019 to December 31st, 19. I'll make that motion. Second it. Your motion is second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? So moved. A couple of th other things on the committee reports. Years back, and again, it goes back to kind of filling the Larry's shoes. We had a Camp Saratoga committee um, that met occasionally, but basically, Larry, being the caretaker down there and overseer of the camp, we didn't really. He, he basically did everything and came to the board when they needed funding or projects. But um, in his absence. Um, I do want to appoint a committee to, again to oversee Camp Saratoga, come back to this board with suggested projects, budgets, uh, to, to fund some of the things that um, may be needed down there regarding the fire tower and other, and other projects down at the park. So um, the committee will consist of Linda Baker, She's the currently good um, chair, chairwoman of the Wildlife Preserving Park. Peter Litchfield, who's in charge of the, the he was, he's still on that board too, right? So he's still on that board? No, he's not, okay. But he oversees all the volunteers regarding the fire tower and has a lot of interest in uh, Camp Saratoga. Ryan, who gets involved in everything, he's going to be on the committee. Uh, Mark, Mark Mikens and Scott, because they will be doing the work that needs to be done down there. And uh, Paul Walshanko, who is actually over, he, he processes the event, the coordination of the events that are down there and gets the appropriate insurance and, and uh, paperwork. So um, they're going to be the, they will be the committee. I've already talked with them and they're going to be doing some regulations regarding the fire tower and uh, up, updating some other policies regarding use of the camp that have been are outdated right now when it comes to some of the troops um, from from out of the area. So. I wanted to point that. Uh, the other thing is our last bicentennial event is coming up on the 29th of uh, December, and that's the community holiday dinner down at uh, uh, Saratoga Wilton Elks Lodge. Um, it's a limit of 200 tickets being sold. Um, 100 are gone. Um, they're available on the website, or you can come to Town Hall and, and get them through uh, Nancy Riley. Uh, uh, as well, it's uh, twenty dollars and eighteen cents. Appropriately for two thousand eighteen. So I just want to mention that because um, I'm sure it will sell out well before the 29th. That sounds fun. Uh, two other notes: uh, we have an opening on the uh, Town of Wilton's Ethics Advisory Board. So if anybody's interested. That's one. And also, Fulton, the, uh, Gavin Park has an opening down for the uh, um, Recreation Committee. So, Park and Recs Committee, they have an opening there too. So, if anybody's interested, uh, send in a resume or let us know, one of the town board members, and we'll have the time to interview you. Thank you. Okay. We will now ask Maria for her first controller's report. <laughs> <laughs> so the controller's report has two items this month. We have budget transfers and budget amendments, and we have a personnel issue. On the budget transfers and budget amendments, we are realigning actual expenditures to budget so that everything is in line, more appropriate in line. Um, we have a splash park. The project is finished, so we're just moving money around in there so that we have an alignment of the um, actual to budget. Like I said, for the budget amendments, we have some overages that we would like to um, to offset with revenues in order to maintain a balanced budget. On the personnel side, um, our town historian, Jean Jeannie Roosters, I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing your name, Waters, she has um, submitted her resignation effective December 31st, and the board should accept her resignation. Okay, so first would be to approve the, the transfers and the amendments. If there's any questions of Marie on those, two separate motions. I'll make a motion we approve the 2018 budget transfers. I'll second it. Okay, a motion a second. Discussion? Okay, all in favor? Aye. 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 So 
so moved. And then we need a motion for the amendments. Accept the motion for the amendments. Yeah. I'll make a motion to for accept the, the budget amendments. amendments. Any questions, or is there a second? Someone said. I'll second the budget amendments. Okay. Any questions or discussion on the amendments? Okay, hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? So Gee, moved. Janie, is any chance you could wait to like 2023? <laughs> <laughs> I just want to tell you, I appreciate what a great job you've always done for this town and what you've done for us. You, Absolutely. You, you are also a legend in this town. Thank you very much. But if you give it five minutes, maybe 2023, 20, we'd appreciate it. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Jeannie. Yeah, yeah thank you, Jeannie. We all do, and we will certainly proper, properly recognize you in a more formal manner at either a meeting here or maybe even the bicentennial dinner. <laughs> need a motion then. So we just need a motion to, although it's not, it's effective December 31, to certainly to um, accept the resignation with a lot of regrets. <laughs> yes. I make a motion that we accept uh, Jeannie Waters' resignation letter. I second that regret. regret. Okay, we have a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right, I got a second. Okay, under other business, St. John's announcement. Hmm? Kirk, I want to thank you for going up to Parkhurst Road and cleaning that. That water level really dropped. And thank you and your crew very much. You did a nice job. Is there any other business? Uh, we do have uh, to adjourn into executive session on a uh, involving a a particular uh, per personnel matter, um, confidential personnel matter. So, is there any other business or anything to bring up before we adjourn to executive session? Thank you. Okay, you need a motion to adjourn to executive session. I'll make a motion that we adjourn to executive session. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Um, obviously, anybody's going to to hang around. I'm not sure how long this may be.